It's official. Scientists have concluded that there's nothing quite like a dodo. I'm Dan Riskin. One of the best things about islands is endemism. You typically find species in island ecosystems that exist nowhere else, like the lemurs of Madagascar, or the finches of the Galapagos, or the mighty moas of New Zealand. You know, those 12 foot tall, 500 pound birds. Oh wait, that's right, they're extinct. They were killed off within a couple hundred years of humans' first arrival there. And guess what? That is part of a pattern. Throughout human history, when we get to an uninhabited island, we cause several kinds of animals to go extinct there, birds included, over and over and over, all over the world. Well, when a bird goes extinct, its ecological role becomes vacant. In a sense, it's like a job opening. Well, in a new study, researchers wanted to see if invasive birds that come after those extinctions are filling those ecological roles on islands. Sure, you might lose an endemic pigeon, but if some other pigeon moves in there, isn't that kind of good enough? Well, in their study, researchers looked at historical records of birds from nine different island archipelagos. The Hawaii, the Caribbean, the Canary Islands, New Zealand, Madagascar, and others. And they found that on average, the birds that come do similar jobs to those that they replace, but the ecological breadth of the invasives isn't quite as wide as what's being replaced. So take the moa, for example. It was a herbivore. It ate trees and shrubs. Now, there are plenty of birds in New Zealand now that eat plants, but none of them fills the role that was left vacant. Or you could take the quintessential island bird killed by people, the dodo. It was a pigeon, but it was totally different from any pigeon alive today. This study shows there's no quick fix for losses of biodiversity and gives us yet another reason, as if we needed one, to protect the diversity that remains. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.